Today we will learn the theory behind local client copy in SAP. We have with us Don who is a senior SAP business consultant and he will explain this concept in detail. Over to you Don. Thank you. Uh, hi everybody. So we will be discussing about local client copy and I will just give a short introduction to remote client copy in this lesson. So client copy is used to creating create an, a, create a copy of an existing client. So in that case I have to first create a new client and copy some information from an existing client. So to create a new client I can first create a logical system. I can create a client without creating a logical system but it's always advisable to create a logical system first because this will help uh, identify the client in a system land. So we use a command called BD54 or sale to create a logical system. After creating the logical system, I type a command T code called SEC4 and I can view the current clients which are available in my uh, SAP system. The information comes from a table, so I can add more entries into the table. If I want to add more entry into the table, I have to go to change mode. So I go to change mode and create a new entry. In that entry I give the name of I give the number of the client and a description for the client and then I will assign the logical system which I created to the client. After creating a new client I should keep it open so that I, I can make changes in, in this client. Then what I should do is I we assume that I created a client 810 then I have to log in into the newly created client and then I have to pull the information from an existing client. But how can I log in into the newly created created client? Because I don't have any users there because it's just an, just an entry in a table. Uh, but I have a user which is built in into the kernel that is SAP star. So I can log in as SAP star and the default password for newly created client for SAP star is pass. Then when I issue the T code SCCL, that will work and it will already it will already select my current client as the target. My current client now is 810. 810. But it will allow me to change the source client. So I am doing local client copy, so I have an option to only uh, select an existing client in my system. So I may select a, a client called 800 or 000. Client copy usually takes a lot of time and during the client copy I can uh, and before starting the client copy I can decide what I am going to copy into the target. If I select a, a profile called SAP all it will copy everything from the source client to the target and it will take a lot of time. If I want I can copy only the user uh, information and authorization information. Since client copy is very uh, time consuming I first wanted to do a test test uh, run. So I will run in test mode and that also I will do in the background and in this mode I can check the resources and I can have a, I can see a simulation of uh, simulation to find out I can create a, I can do a simulation to find out whether my copy is going to be successful or not. So after the simulation is successful then I can start this client copy in the background. So I really start the client copy in the background. I should have at least two or three background work processes and I do it in a at a time when uh, no much users are using the system because nobody can log in into the source client during my client copy. If they log in and make changes, that those changes won't be effective. And in the target line, nobody can log in. If I want to see the log, I type SCC3 and if I want to see how much, what percentage of the background job is done, then I say, I type a T code called SM37. So after the client copy is done, it may take some time, so after that is done, I will log in into the target client as a user, in, as one of the user in the source client, then I can test whether everything is copied. This is for the local client copy, but if I am doing remote client copy, then I have to connect between two systems. 
So in that case, I have to create RFC connections between these systems and also I should know from what system I am going to copy and what client I am going to use as well. So for the remote client copy, I use a program called a T code called ACC9 and I can perform the copy. I should have authorizations to do this, do this uh, in, in the remote, in the, the source client. And this is what I wanted to explain to you today.